<laughs> wow, luck, my lucky day. Police officer just pulled in right over there, turned around. Uh, over here, this is, there's a strange color blue going on there. See it kind of almost turning purple there. Got the yellow, heavy yellow. You can still see that red kind of speckling, that red dazzling uh, light there. I mean, I've seen a lot of that effect, man, where it's just like, man, the lights seem to be very dazzlingly brilliant. Like, uh, they'll be red, purple, pink. I've seen them even glowing like an orangish yellow, like right here and behind this cloud. It's purple. Let me see if I hit this light, if it'll show up better, because I remember that last time. Yeah, it does a little bit, don't it? Yeah, see the blue? Yeah. Wow, that kind of looks like an alien face right there. Uh, yeah, it was awesome so, sunset, man. See that blue back there? Now there's that purple. It's like it's strange. It's almost like, like the sky is like is like it's it's like the atmosphere has changed, and there's like different densities at different spots. Therefore. It reflects back a different color of the rainbow of the visual spectrum or something, dude. I mean, there's a very weird effect going on. Like, uh, you know, they, they you, you see how you shine pure white light into a prism, right? And uh, when you shine pure white light into a prism, it bounces back as a rainbow. So you can think, imagine someone sprayed a bunch of prisms in the sky for or or it could even just be water water does it droplets of water because the bottom's rounder and then it goes up into a point towards the top so i mean you know as it's falling or whatever so it makes a similar shape a cone like shape and it's clear oh yeah there's a camera right there let's see if we can get them showing up too great yeah there's another cop over there now right across the street in a, in a transformer car Yeah, see, now it's like a really blue over here. Just from here to there, though, it's the only angle that it's making that intense blue. Maybe that's because of the clouds. I'm not sure, you know. And now you see that silver lining on the back of the cloud there. That's kind of cool. I'm wondering if that's how those, those, those clouds, some of them that look like a hidden cloaked spacecraft, I mean, that's up to, I guess that's up to your interpretation of uh, what a cloaked uh, spacecraft would, what you think it would look like if it was up there. <laughs> but I know I ain't the only one who's, who's been seeing these strange clouds that look like cloaked spacecraft. I mean, I seen this one guy and it was straight up, uh, it looked like a fucking giant pyramid. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, see that lining right there? That also looks strange. Yeah, see that almost looks like one of those cloaked clouds right there. Now just thinking about it. Yeah, but that's it's strange because over over here earlier, dude, right over here too, I swear, uh, it looked like a, a there was just a, a a shining dot up on the uh, on the horizon. I mean, I I keep trying to uh, avoid this uh, this police officer sitting across the street, like pointing the camera at him. I don't wanna I don't want him fucking getting all freaked out and shit. So I'm just standing in like a vacant lot with a you know a camera pointed at the sky. I mean, you know, this is kind of dangerous. Uh, just just being a, a sky observer in in days like this because you know people are so damn paranoid about everything. Like any anyone does anything that 
they would just think would be abnormal. They go ahead and assume things like that and then just, you know what I mean? And speculate, over speculate, be like, oh my God, what are they doing over there? You know? I guess, you know, they do say curiosity kills the cat, right? So, I guess if you get, that's the, ain't that the way that life goes? If you get too curious about the wrong things, man, you just get in trouble. There's almost a cigar shaped cloud back here on the horizon. There it is. Wait, no, you can't see it. There it is. It's right above that red light there. Kind of a cigar shaped fucking cloud. Kind of weird. Uh, I don't know. I've been watching. I've been catching up going through the X Files from the beginning and watching through it. So it's like it's got my mind all like stirred up with weird ideas about aliens and, uh, you know, cover ups and, uh, other, uh, strange stuff. Yeah, it's. So yeah, it's like, it's strange because right here, this, this section of the sky. It's really bright, man. It's like you can see it, man. It's strange, dude, how bright it is. And then you can see kind of like right here, it's darker over here than it's brighter over here. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Hope one of these days I catch another one of the... It's like this one day I see... It, uh, I called it the uh, the blue beam cl cloud. Uh, I didn't have much memory that day, but I got a little piece of it, man. I yeah, I'm hoping one day I catch another event like that. Cause I mean that it was real spectacular. Looked like a giant glowing pillar across the sky. See now there's a little brightness right here under these clouds again, man. It's weird. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, man. Not exactly it's working, but I don't know something's going on. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, you can almost see that, like how it's casting off like this, this glowing effect over here to the left. And it's darkening over here on the right. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. It's probably something to do with like has the season change, the sun creeps farther down the horizon. You know, each day it comes up at a different spot. It's kind of, and then it, it it switches at a certain time of the year and goes the other direction. I mean, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I've been watching for the past couple of years. I just noticed that I could, if you paid attention, you can just pay attention. You can just tell things. It's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> 